social media decision to go for two? How did that all come about? Well, that was, uh, you're looking at me, and if it didn't work, you'd be saying some other things about me right now. I know that. And uh, you know, it was just going the way things have been going. We've been able to have some success with our offense, and I really did feel like, you know, if we can score with 40 seconds left on the clock, if we can get down there and score, then there'd be, there'd be some pretty good momentum on our side. They might be reeling a little bit. And uh, that was my initial thought before, uh, before the ball had even been kicked off. And uh, now I'm not going to tell you we didn't talk about it a little bit because we did. There's a reason I called timeout. There's a reason they called timeout too. And uh, we still talked about it. But, you know, uh, my staff had, had confidence in the play. My players had confidence in that play. And they wanted to do it. And they were bound to do it. If they got confidence, they're going to make it work. And uh, so that was what we elected to do and thought, uh, why make everybody wait for overtime? Let's get it done now. Sometimes coaches think about that before the game. Have you thought about that before, or that decision was just made in the Think about it every time I watch a team, you know, every game that we watch. And, and uh, some of those conversations come up in, uh, you know, on the headset during the ball games. You know, we're watching some of the games earlier this season, and, uh, you know, I'm on the phone with uh, some of my coaches. You know, we might be watching the same. We might be at our own houses watching those games and thinking, hey, we wouldn't want to be doing this right here, right? Or we would. And, and so, yeah, those have been uh, – those things we think about a lot, we talk about a lot, and uh, and you just kind of have to go with the way the flow of things are going, and I felt like that was our opportunity. Coach, uh, Max had kind of a rough game until that uh, the important catch in the end zone. Uh, just to show your faith that you guys have him. Well, yeah, you know, the guy got to be our leading receiver for a reason, and he made a ton of catches all season long. And uh, that was not like him for, you know, he had a couple of them hit off of his hands, another one off of his chest. That wasn't like him. And uh, we had that conversation on the sideline. Nick, I grabbed him after the one I think it was bounced off his chest. I say, hey, you still got a chance. You still have time to catch the game winner. Just uh, You just got to keep believing. Get that out of your head. It doesn't do you any good to fret about that. You got to be ready to play the next play and just trying to help him keep his head up. And he's a competitor, and he's been like that all season long. Kid wants the ball. He always wants the ball. If we're running, he wants us to throw. If we're throwing at somebody else, he wants us to throw it to him. And, uh, you know, he's that kind of competitor, and, and uh, those guys will come through for you in the end, I believe. Coach, you just won bowl games. What does that mean for the school? It means a ton. For uh, for our entire university, I do believe. I think it does a lot for the University of Idaho. I think you, you see our Vandals uh, all over the state, all over the country, carrying themselves a lot taller and prouder right now. And you've seen that the way everything was in the – in our town this week and in this town this week, you know, and, and that momentum has been building over the course of the year. I bet you, I bet you real large we see a, a bump in enrollment come uh, come this fall. I think there's a number of great things that are come from this. And, uh, and it's due to the hard work of these guys right here. And uh, I can't be more proud of a group of kids, you know, to, to take this from where we were, you know, three, three wins in, in two years and get it to this point right now. And, uh, and and be a bowl champion. You know, I think that says a lot for the determination, the hard work, and the perseverance of these guys right here. And I couldn't be I couldn't be any more proud than that of them. Go Vandals! Go Vandals! That's Joe Vandal right there. Coach, uh, talk about the performance of your defense, uh, particularly in the first half when the offense seemed to struggle. Well, it, it was up and down for our defense a little bit, but you know we had some we had some good plays made. I think there was an interception made by a guy sitting right next to me yeah. here that was uh, was a huge play. There was a uh, there was a fourth down drive stop or a third down drive stop and a blocked field goal that meant an awful lot. And uh, there was another fourth down drive stop at another point in time in the ball game. You know, and, and uh, you know the, the the statistical numbers aren't the ones that matter. You know, everybody loves to be three and out as a defense on every possession and, and take the ball away all the time. But what matters is you do what you need to do to be able to win the ball game. And and, uh, and they did things early enough in the game to, to help keep things at the point that they were. So we did have the opportunity to be able to win the game. It's as simple as that. It's a team effort. And uh, you know, I think that contributed to us being, uh, we started a new game in the second half. And I think you look at the way that our players played when we came out of the shoots in the second half, I think you saw uh, a football team with a little more fire in its tail in the second half. Wouldn't you all agree? Yeah. Coach, when they scored with you know, 30 seconds left, uh, how did you rally the team back up? That was obviously a pretty disappointing moment. Well, they, the team was fired up, you know, it was, uh, yeah, that was not, obviously it was not what we wanted to have happen at that point in time, but, you know, this football team has overcome deficits. We've overcome some things, uh, an awful lot over the course of this season, and there was, uh, 
You know, this one, the game winner came a little bit later. It was 52 seconds in the Louisiana Tech game. There was, uh, you know, there were some two and a half score deficits that this football team overcame. And I think, I think the fact that we had done things like that had the belief in our players that they could make it happen. Now, does that mean they all, they're all standing over saying, okay, hey, this is just what we want. We're going to get it done right now. Um, you know, the, but I tell you what, our guys have been fighting their tails off. They believed, and you can see that in the way that they went about playing. They got the job done. Talk about Freddie Barnes, 17 catches, 12 well, I'm going to tell you what, the guy is the real deal. The 17 catches, holy cow, that, he got to be tired by now, I would think. And uh, you know, I was, I knew he was going to get the record, but I told you yesterday I was hoping to be five uh, five catches that were one-yard hitches, and we could call it good at that point in time. But I think he's a very he's a, he's a very talented player. He's got tremendous hands, and obviously that quarterback's a very good player. He's been able to get the ball to him. Coach, uh, all year long you've been saying you've kind of waited for Preston to break down. Yeah, you've been saying it's due. I would say the wait's over. Yeah, he, he came through and delivered a little bit today, and uh, and I was I was very proud to see that. And you know, each of our uh, in our receiving core, each of those guys have had some. Uh, they each have had a game that was kind of their big game, and he certainly made some great things happen today. That big break and run was uh, was a huge one, and the last one wasn't too terrible bad either. Coach, at the beginning of the season, you said that you uh, were going to eat and drink out of a bowl. You know, it was all about the bowl. I'm ready if you're ready for a plate. <laughs> I tell you what, I kind of like the way the bowls are working. We're just going to get us bigger bowls and more of them. You put more food in bigger bowls. Is that it? Y'all done with me? You want these guys? Coach, uh, one more. What, what does it mean to uh, win the humanitarian bowl here in Boise in front of the Vandals? Well, I think it means an awful lot for us. And then, you know, when you consider that it's been, you know, it's been a decade since there's been a winning season, it's been over a decade since there's been a bowl game. It's only the second bowl game in the history of the school. It's the first bowl game for us in the WAC Conference. It was our opportunity to represent the WAC Conference, and we were able to do that today. We got the, we got the WAC Conference in the win column. But most importantly, being able to do that, there, you couldn't have put us in a better bowl. The humanitarian bowl was the best bowl in the world for us to be able to be in. It was, uh, you saw that stadium up here today? I was here in Go Vandals. I was here in Idaho Vandals. I was here in that place go back and forth, and I heard it get loud. And, uh, you know, it, it was, uh, was kind of like a home crowd, and I think that fueled these guys a little bit. I'm sure they'll tell you whether or not it did. But, uh, you know, that right there, the demonstration at the basketball arena last night, I think that gave us a little, a nice little touch. It got these guys uh, feeling pretty good about themselves when they walked into the reception and they got there at halftime last night. And I think for us to be able to do that in our state capital in front of all of our people, you know, we were able to get, you know, I don't know, the 25,000 Vandal fans or whatever it was that were here. Um, it, was a, it was a great thing for us. And I, I would like very much to thank Kevin and, uh, and the, everybody in the uh, Humanitarian Bowl and Rhodes and for, for putting this thing on. And I thank you for inviting us, and I hope you're happy about the way we represented it. Thank you all very much. I'm going to turn it over to these guys. Go Vandals!